Imu is one of the 20 kings who founded the world government. I don't know if it's a coincidence, we have a character named Perona and she's quite close to Zoro and Mihawk and also Moya. Imu and Mihawk have similar type of eyes, they have two concentric circles and a pupil. Mihawk's eyes are yellow in color whereas Imu's is dark red. People call Mihawk Hawk Eye. So Imu's eyes might also have powerful ability and interestingly enough we never get to see Zoro opening his left eye. I think Zoro eye has some kind of connection to Imu's eyes. In the previous chapter we saw how powerful Imu is. He used only one attack to severely injure Savo. He used some kind of dark arrow to kill Nefertari Cobra. That arrow was definitely imbued with armed hockey. Otherwise there is no way it could hurt a Logia Doublefoot user like Savo. Savo is extremely proficient in armored hockey. During the Dressrosa arc we saw his armored hockey can generate wind pressure. He called called it Dragon's Breath. Whips and Luffy's armored hockey can generate fire. Ace and Akainu both were Logia Devilfruit users, yet Akainu managed to kill Ace because his hockey and Devilfruit ability were superior. As you can see, Emu's armored hockey is stronger than Sabo's hockey, otherwise he wouldn't be able to hurt him. Actually, I was wondering what kind of arrow it is. When Emu used this arrow for the first time, he was still sitting on the throne and he was still in his human form. That arrow could be a tail or a weapon, but to me that's more like a tail than a weapon. Speaking of weapon, we already saw Yimu using sword in the Levelly arc. He cut Luffy and Blackbeard's bounty posters and Shirahoshi's picture. Yimu sits on a throne that is surrounded by 19 swords. These 19 swords were the weapons of the leaders of the 19 kingdoms. If Yimu was one of the kings, then one of these weapons belongs to Yimu. There are 70 swords and 2 axes. So what was Yimu's weapon of choice? A sword or an axe? Didn't they place that nobody would sit on the throne? Why would Emu sit on the throne? Why didn't he uphold his promise? And why is everyone okay with it? I wonder, what if this throne is not a throne but a weapon? I mean, doesn't this throne kind of look like a sword? The hilt is hidden here and this is obviously the tip of the sword. It would be symbolically perfect if this is a sword instead of a throne. I mean, all the swords are bowing before this giant sword. If Emu is a sword user, he's not going to face Luffy. So Emu is not going to be the final villain in the story. It's going to be Zoro who is going to fight Emu and defeat him. I think we're going to see Zoro's ice power overwhelming Emu's ice power. Zoro is a descendant of Shimotsuki Ryuma. Ryuma once cut a dragon. Back at Shaburi Archipelago Arc, Zoro regretted not cutting a celestial dragon. Zoro now has a chance to cut down a biggest celestial dragon. I think we're going to see Zoro versus Emu in the final arc. Then you might ask, what about Luffy? Who is he going to fight? We know 20 countries allied against the Great Kingdom. Emu is from one of these 20 kingdoms. I don't think he had the ability to challenge Joy Boy. I think there is a traitor in the Great Kingdom and that traitor is going to be Luffy's final opponent. So do you think it's going to be Zoro versus Emu or Luffy versus Emu? Comment down below. Like the video if you did and subscribe for more. Hit the notification bell icon for updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.